I've been asked to show how I stack kites, particularly flow tails, but it applies to others. So here's a brief rundown on one way that I do it, using this simple tool to make holes in the kite to pass the line through, let that thing heat up, and then we're going to make holes either side of the spine, close to the spine, and in line with the toe point of the kite. On most kites, the spine is in a sleeve, so you won't see that rod, but here it's bare. From the front of the kite, make the hole big enough just to pass the line through, as I said, close to the spine, and then do exactly the same on the other side of the keel, close to the spine, not too close, and then you need a hole through the keel itself, so you can pass the line through. Now the connecting line will have loops at both ends, but it's best to tie those after you've put the line through. Makes it easier. I've done the opposite. From the back of the kite, pass the line through one of the holes you've just made. Turn the kite over, pass the line through the hole in the keel, and then you can pass it back through the other hole. Pull the line through a bit, turn the kite over, and tie the loops if you haven't got them already. Pass one end of the line through the loop on the other end, and pull it right through, pull that tight, and of course that can't come off. Now the loop in the other end, put your finger and thumb in there, double it over to make this double loop or lark's head knot, put the toe point of the next kite through there, pull that tight and you're all connected up and you're ready to fly. The length of the line should be about twice the length of the wingspan of the kite. Whether you fly one stack, two stacks, or whether you go really crazy and decide to have a whole sky full of kites, you can have a lot of fun this way. There are other ways of doing it. You can experiment, find your own way, do what is, whatever's best for you. But the important thing is, have a lot of fun.